Well, again, um, just thank God these leaked uh, documents have come out because they confirm what we have been a advocate, uh, saying over the past couple of years. They reaffirm and they confirm um, the, the political brain, these political brainwashing or ideological brainwashing centres, which I call them, um, in an attempt, um, a subversive attempt, to, if I should, should say, baptise uh, these Uyghur Muslims into following communism and Marxism to make that as their religion and, uh, in a way, worshipping Xi Jinping as their god. So, this is Arslan Hidayat. He works with Talk East Turkestan, and they're like they talk about the atrocities, like, uh, the atrocities and other things that are being committed against uh, the Uyghurs in Xinjiang or occupied East Turkestan in China. So what he says was, in his reference to some documents that were leaked, I'll have them in the description. And basically, what he's saying is that uh, the the Chinese Communist Party is uh, baptizing or uh, forcing atheism or communism onto Muslim Uyghurs in Xinjiang and essentially like making them worship uh, Xi Jinping, which does sound like kind of crazy because it's like, you know, you think like atheists don't worship like people or something like that because even religious people don't worship people for the most part. But deification of atheist leaders in China is actually not even unique to uh, Xi Jinping. There's this book called China in 10 Words uh, made by Yu Hua. And like he really actually d uh, dives into like um, how actually China was like back in the day because he actually grew up there. And you know, he sheds light into how people lived back then under like the communist regime, under Mao Zedong especially. And here's a couple of quotes by him in the book. He says uh, in the book, Chairman Mao uh, is at our side, people used to say. I was certain that he would be happy if I did something good and disappointed if I did something bad. So like he he literally, like because of how the, the communists, you know, brainwashed all the, you know, the Chinese back, in the, back then by, by force. It wasn't even like, by, you know, they, they didn't choose this. You know, he actually believed, like... Mao Zedong was like some sort of like uh, you know God or you know who who who, who knew everything that uh, this guy was doing, and the crazy thing is the this he was just like you know just a regular Chinese guy you know like just living with his family and all like the the the, the Uyghurs right now the ones that were like in concentration camps even had to, even the other ones that are like uh, like in their houses are literally constantly being watched. And it's like, you know, Xi Jinping probably, like, would know every... There, I mean, I don't know if he was, like, he's watching, but, like, the, the soldiers are, like, or his minions are, like, watching them every single time, every single moment. Especially, like, when they're, like, in these so-called... Uh, what's it called? Education training, re-education, whatever. And it's like, you know, that's... They're literally watching them. So the, also there's this other comment... Yeah, he makes in the book, uh, he says, uh, Washu, that's his brother, raised his right hand gravely. Can you swear to Chairman Mao that you are not a landlord? My father raised his hand with equal gravity. I swear to Chairman Mao, I am not a landlord. So literally, like, you know, instead of saying, like, I swear to God or something else, they literally take, took them, the Mao Zedong as, like, a, you know, some god or something like that, and... In many parts of the book, he actually talks about how, like, any any argument you make, like, if you want to, uh, if you just, like, say, like, okay, that Ma Mao Zedong agrees with this, it's, like, oh, it's sacred, you know, like, nobody's going to, like, try to go against you. <laughs> so scared they're going to be, like, you know, and the lynchings, not lynchings, but, like, there were, like, crazy stuff he was talking about. And I actually highly recommend this book, uh, China, China in Ten Words, kind of, like, really you know, shows how China was back in the day. The, you know, the cu cultural revolution and all that stuff. If regular people like, you know, who lived in China can be brainwashed to think like that Mao Zedong is like God, is it like uh, hard to see that people who are being like abducted and 
put to you know concentration camps is it hard to say is it hard to believe that the same thing could be done to them you know like it wouldn't be that surprising that uh, the Uyghurs are going to be uh, are being forced to to you know denounce Islam and also you know take Xi Jinping as like some some god or something and it's kind of crazy like cuz they're atheists right but you know if you if you if you get rid of religion you just have to replace it with something so they're going to end up replacing it with something else cuz atheism is quite empty anyways if you want to help the Uyghurs you can donate to the Uyghur Human Rights Project also I'll put them in the link in the description as well assalamu alaikum